I say, this is one of the holy grails that I have been searching for for a very long time. Actually, not really searching, just having the money to come up with and purchasing this. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is the vape jacket. Japan at the time, I think it was 2001, where he came out with a drama called Hero, and his name is Kimura Takuya, and he wore this jacket throughout the series, um, and it literally sent off a trend, if you will. I think I watched that drama when back in 03 or something like that and um, I've always wanted a jacket like it. Um, at the time, you know, I was straight out of high school, didn't have a job or anything like that and, you know, it was just a lot of, um, you know, I was just dreaming about it. Um, didn't really know how to acquire the jacket, didn't really know the brand. But now that I am 30 years old, um, you know, I've, uh, I've researched um, quite a bit and I finally pulled the trigger. Um, bought this in Japan about a week ago. It came in. Um, for those of you that don't know, you're going to have to use a Japanese auction agency of some sort to basically get the product to you because Japan is, um, um, they don't like to really ship things outside of the country, so if you want to get something from Japan, either you're going to have to find a website that actually sells the product, um, which there are more now, but um, still pretty limited, and basically the agency helps you purchase the product, but they also take like a commission and all of that stuff. But um, I've used that agency three times, three times now. Um, and this is the third time. And they've um, they've been great. The agency is called um, Japan Auction Agency. dot com. Japan dash auction dash agency. -com. They're really professional, um, and they ship pretty quick too. Um, considering the fact that I bought it like at the end of December, and getting it literally like a like I think two weeks is the time that I waited, but shipping time was only a week. Um, what happened is I actually uh, had to win this off of um, like a like a bid auction site in Japan, um, so it took a while for the seller to get it to um, the agency, but that's that. Um, I think, a, uh, so from what I've researched, a lot of um, vape products from Japan, they tend to run small, and I would definitely have to attest to that. Um, because this is a large, that is a large, so, um, yeah, and I typically wear mediums, so, the good thing about that is, is that um, this jacket, I think, in Japan is super popular, popular in the size small um, for obvious reasons but um, so and what that basically drives the price high for the small sizes but when you go up to medium and large I think large is um, it's pretty um, pretty cheap actually considering well this check is not cheap to begin with 
Uh, the price that I bid at was around 180,000 yen. So quick math, take two zeros off of that and roughly that's the price that I paid. Um, the currency is stronger now um, for the US dollar, but still a big chunk of change. Um, so I think all in all, including shipping and all that stuff, <coughs> commission aside, is about 17 or something. 1700. Um, why did I purchase this jacket? Um, it's always been in the back of my mind. Um, I always said that once um, I'm good, I'm, I'm in a good place in my life. I'm gonna start, you know, collecting the things that I've always wanted when I was growing up. Um, and keep in mind, this is not the exact replica of, um, of that Jack and Hero. Um, but it is literally the next best thing to it. Um, I believe this is a 2004 winter line. So it is. Take a look. Um, for those that are looking for this jacket, you'll want to know um, that yes, you do want to at least have the navy blue interior. Um, because, I mean, if you're gonna try to get the same jacket that you wore in, in, in that drama, you know, you're gonna want to, you know, replicate it as as possible. I mean, obviously you're not going to get the same thing, but looks of it wise, you'll want to at least have that because there are a lot of different variations to this jacket. There are some with um, hoods that you can zip on and zip off, and those come with a camouflage interior, I believe. Um, overall, and here's a little quick look at the tag. I don't know if you guys can really see it using a GoPro camera, so um, it may or may not be clear. I don't know. But as you can see, it's 80% down, 20% feather, and 100% sheepskin, and yes, made in China. Um, I wish that wasn't the case, but, you know, I think all vapes these days are pretty much made in China, especially with the um, things that are going on, acquisitions and whatnot. I'm not really big into that type of culture, um, and to be quite honest, I only know the name because of this jacket. Um, and from wearing it, I actually just got this today. This is the back. Um, this is the back, and yeah. Um, logo. So that's that. Um, fit for me is pretty good. Um, I am not, you know, I'm, I'm not like a big dude. Um, I am 5'10", but I'm on the skinnier side. Um, my advice if you're going to go out and purchase this is one, um, go of one size, for sure, um, and if you start looking for this um, jacket, you're going to find that a lot of people have different type of measurements, um, so I think what I will do is um, I'm going to go ahead and measure this for you guys, so 
assume we cut this part out, but um, I'll go get like a, some sort of tape and then I'll go ahead and measure this. Okay guys, so I did say that I was going to measure this jacket for you guys and please keep in mind that this is a 2014 line and from my understanding is that um, all the different lines measurements could change. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna measure it for you guys. So I'm just going to go all the way from the top to bottom as I can. Okay, length about 28 and a half inches overall. 28 and a half inches. Okay. 28 and a half is about 72 and a half, we'll just say, in centimeters. Okay. I don't know how to do how they do pit to pit, but this is what I'm gonna do, okay? Right underneath the pits, we'll measure it, and uh, we'll say about 22. 22 is 56 centimeters, okay? And I think this is the hardest part, which is um, the sleeve. I've seen so many different measurements, um, but here it is. Okay, so I'm going to do from here to here, roughly in the middle. It's about 26 inches. 26 is 66, okay? 66 centimeters. 66. Width, I think I already gave that guys to you. 22, okay. Um, from the top here all the way to the end of the sleeve. Let's see how long that is. It's about 31. Okay. 31, 78. The reason why I wanted to show you guys that and maybe, um, you know, I really don't know how to measure clothing, but um, if you want, post it in the comments, let me know, because I know a lot of you are very interested in um, the measurements, because that was one of the biggest factors, um, biggest concerns actually, that I had. Um, you know, after I pull the trigger, I'm like, okay, well, is medium the correct size for me, or should I have gotten large? Because, um, like I said, there are a lot of um, different type of measurements online, and from the initially, from what I saw, I'm like, okay, medium seems like the perfect fit from um, for me, for my dimensions. Um, so, you know. As the jacket was coming into me, I'm like, oh man, I hope I don't have to return this because it's just going to be a huge hassle. But luckily, everything worked out. I upped one size and it worked out great. Um, sleeves, let's see, jacket. quality it feels very nice um, it's a lot softer than I would um, have expected sorry I don't know if you guys are getting a good shot at it but um, I'm, I'm basically wearing a head cam um, while doing this so it's gonna look like shit
I don't know how, how hardcore you guys are, but this sleeve is not the one. It's not like the ones that you wore in the drama. The drama, there was no. There was none of this. It was literally just a straight sleeve down. Seems like um, over time they made adjustments to the sleeve. That's cool. I mean, no problems there. I don't really care. Um, 99% of the overall look is good enough for me. Um, pockets. Velcroed. Okay. Velcroed. And okay. Strap for the zipper. Okay. Bottom here. Oops. Bottom here is the ape logo. sucks. Sorry about that guys, but you're just gonna have to make do. I, like I said, don't really make videos. Um, this is what the top looks like. Collar. Buttons are fantastic. They work well. Um, I know it's made in China, but the quality, eh, you know, not bad. Signing off.